with the rain every day yeah the grass is just going crazy so ben says no matter what and it's raining now <laughs> he's gonna cut this grass so yeah i just let him y'all i just let him but i hope you all have a beautiful beautiful morning let's get on with the video All right, guys, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get all of these um, darn, these okra in before the rain comes. But this is what I'm planting. These are my okras, and I just planted them in this, um, this little tray. This is one of my Dollar Tree lights, solo lights, right? So, I... Uh, it's raining, <laughs> but I'm gonna plant them all here. So I'm gonna just leave them here because yeah, I ain't gonna make it y'all. I ain't gonna make it. <laughs> but anyway, these are my okras and I'm gonna plant them here when the rain stops. That's mulling y'all, that's mulling over there. All right, shoot. So this is my uh, pink eye purple hall peas. Now, I like to harvest them just when they begin to turn this purple. I don't want them all the way purple, 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 because the beans are hard when, when they get like that. Now, my fingernails are dirty, y'all. I've been planting stuff, right? But I just want to show you the beans. Um, so the beans are soft. Here we go, right? The beans are soft, and that's what I want. Soft beans. Yay. <laughs> and, well, you know, oh, come on, baby. <laughs> you all seen him coming out of there? Matter of fact, I'm going to have some of these for dinner. Yeah. Um, so a lot of them are ready, but a lot of them are not. But I'm going to get the ones that is ready. All right, y'all, I'll be back. All right, so this is a good side for me with my meal I'm gonna cook today. And as the other one come up, yeah, I'll hold them. But the ones that I want for seeds, I'll let them stay on the plant until they are nice and deep talk purple and the beans are hard, right? All right, guys. So, I did get the opportunity to plant out some of these. I'm sorry if, <laughs> if I was in y'all way. But I did get a chance to plant out some of these okra. Now, I have this bulb of garlic, right? So, I'm just going to drop some garlic in between these okras. So, that is hopefully just to help her with these aphids let's see what happens you know one thing for sure oh y'all hear the thunder one thing for sure this um this garlic will not hurt her we'll see but we'll see if it helps i hope you're having a wonderful day it's yeah, it's warm, but it have the very usual clouds. And yeah, the rain is coming. <laughs> it's coming. But I'm not upset about it. But I hope you all have a wonderful day. Listen, guys, I want to thank you all that came out to the live last night. I had a good time. It was really, really nice. But then, you know... You know, it's always good. <laughs> we always have a good time together. Yeah. So I'm just harvesting uh, many of my butterfly pea flowers because, yeah, I'm going to save them from, uh, for when I'm ready to make more drink. So, wow, look at this. I have another pink lady. <laughs> I think when Ben cut him down, he kind of woke him up right uh this is new 
So this is number five in all for this season. <laughs> That's cool. That's cool. So yesterday I dropped the planted potato in this container. So that's the picture. It's a botanical interest seed. Yep. This is the corn that I dropped. But this, <laughs> that is no corn, baby. No, no. Yep, turmeric. <laughs> it's turmeric. I gotta move her. So this is some of the seeds I dropped with you all, and we have germination. A lot of them. It's raining out here, guys. Yes, it's raining. <laughs> but I wanted to check them out. Yeah. So this is under my plantain trees, and this is my eggplant. Now, I didn't know the variety of her because I dropped so many, right? But I think I know who she is, y'all. This is a Bianca Rose. That's who it is. Yes. And this is the one I really wanted to see. Well, there's a couple of them, but <laughs> she's top on the list. Bianca Rose. Real uh, or Rose Bianca. I think it's Rose Bianca. It's a Bianca. <laughs> but that's her, yo. That's her. Yep. But anyway, let me share my coffee plants with you all. Oh, she still have more flowers on her, too. Yeah. There's another plant over there, too. Yeah. So these are my Arapica plants. That's them. And they are doing well under the plantain trees. That's where they are. They love it over here. Yep. I have another Tinker Melon here. She's almost ready. Almost. And this melon is doing really good. I don't know if you can see it, but it's right here. <laughs> That's her. She's doing really good. Mm. This grass is so high over here. It's unbelievable. It's a lizard. <laughs> um, oh my, it's a watermelon right here. Oh wow, let's see what it is. It looks like a moon and star. Wait a minute. Uh, this is what happens when <laughs> So what I'm trying to do is maybe once a week come out here and check. I'm under umbrella, y'all. <laughs> yeah, because it's raining. All right, let's see. Uh, let me take this umbrella down. Let's, ah, shit. Okay. All right, so let's see. Can we get to it? Yeah, there it is. Here it is here. And what is it? It looks like a moon and star. Yeah, let's see. It's this, it's this foliage. Um, I think, um, I, yeah, I think it's a moon and star. Yep, but that's it right there. See it? It has some size on her, yeah. All right, let me get my umbrella back. <laughs> that's one. Wow, y'all, there's a big one back here. Let me see, can I get you to see it? It's right there. Um, let's see. There it is right there. It's pretty big, wow. Now, that is not a moon and star. It looks like a crimson sweet. That's what it looks like, a crimson sweet. She's really big, yeah. Yeah. All right, guys. So here is another melon. She is. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Darn it. Oh. Right, mosquito is just. Yeah. Anyway, there it is right there. It's right there. 
it's uh, it looks like a moon star. Yeah. All right. Oh wow, there's another melon, but it it may be a crimson whatever that is, crimson whatever. <laughs> but it's a crimson water in it, right? So the one that I'm looking for is the banana melon. I have not seen her yet. I had about four plants, but nope, she's a no-show so far. Or maybe I just not, I haven't found her yet, but we'll see. All right, guys, let me get up out of here. All right, Ben has cut some of the yard, not all of it, because it's still, yeah, it's still raining. So let me get my umbrella and go on in the house. <laughs> All right, guys. So last night I came out and I put tool around five of my my figs that was uh, getting swollen. And this one, yeah, I, I, I'm going to take her and I'm going to eat it. I'm going to eat it. <laughs> oh, she's beautiful. She's a, uh, let me just share what she looked like. Oh, wow. This is what she looks like. That's how big she is. She is big as fat girl. So let me bite into her, see what she look like in the inside, okay? Well, maybe I'll break her. Just break it. Oh. There she is. There she is. So I'm gonna taste the other half, y'all. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Now let me just say this. <laughs> it could have stayed on there a little while longer. But, mm, but <laughs> it still tastes so good, y'all. But I covered up five so i'm gonna be patient for the other five. Oh, i see another one swelling up <laughs> but i'm gonna put some tool on it okay just to keep the birds from eating those all right guys lsu gold that's who she is mm -hmm. i went bought more um half pint jars just to make sure um you know I have the size jars that I want. I want the half pints because, you know, just give everybody a little taste, right? Yeah, that's yeah, that's what I want to do. But anyway, I'm gonna give them a little of this just to boost them up a little bit here today. Uh, everybody is not gonna get 511 today, but just a couple of plants will. All of my pepper plants will. I'm going to give a little to uh, all the fig trees and to uh, my lemon and lime. I'm going to give them some. And my Fuyu persimmon that is looking amazing. Yeah. All right, guys. Let me get back to watering. <laughs> Count to 50 with me, y'all. That's what I'm doing. <laughs> That is a Mornach. Mm. And that is Bee Bomb. <laughs> She's big. So these are a lot of my Black Eye Susie. Black Eye Susie. So I'm gonna bring you to another patch, all right? So this is another patch of my Black Eye Susie. And as you can see, yeah, they're going in, they're going in. But I'm gonna share with you how to harvest your seeds from your Black Eye Susie's. Give me one second. I'm sitting over here by my, um, my fig trees. I'm sitting over here and I wanna share with you how to harvest Black Eye Susie seeds. So you just take the heads, you let them dry, and, you know, wherever you have them planted. Make sure they're nice and crusty. 
like this <laughs> and mainly just rub the top and the seeds will come right out now these are wet it was kind of wet from the rain we had yesterday but something's coming off though and you just rub it well there's bugs too but you know that's where they was living <laughs> but really just just rub the heads of them and the seeds will come out <clears throat> now you will have a lot of uh, the top portion of this flower in there and you could see them but you know I know a lot of people you know take take it all out but I don't I, I truly don't y'all I just put it all in the bag I use a Dollar Tree bag of course and I just let them all fall in that bag and when I get ready to plant them, I just take pinches of them and just put them out, throw them out there. And what you see in my garden is what the results look like. And that's basically how you get your seeds. Now, as I was saying, there is parts of the top of the, the, uh, the Black Eye Susie in here. You can get it out, but you know. It's not going to hurt to stay in there. And I just take it all, put it all together, and um, I put a lot of them in a bag. And just rub the bag together and rub them together in the bag. And all of this come out, right? So you can take it and put it in a different container, you know, but that's your seeds. Yeah, that's how I get them and usually what I do I just go to my bag I get like this much and throw a lot of them out wherever I want them to be yeah and there you go we'll have a sea of black eyed Susie's and I love them y'all they're gorgeous they're gorgeous yeah a little ray of sunshine that's them. All right. So this is my figs. This is all the figs I have harvested this season and here. And now I'm just cleaning. I harvest some of these this morning. I'm cleaning and just cutting uh, the top part off. Now, it is so hot right now, I'm not gonna preserve these figs right now. So what I'm doing is cleaning them and I'm gonna freeze them. I'm gonna leave some out. Well, I just may harvest the other part because there's a lot uh, to harvest out there. Um, and just to make a small amount just for eating now. But these and these, they are all going in freezer bags. I'm gonna put them in the freezer so when it get cooler, then I will preserve the larger amount of my figs. All right, let me get to, let me finish cutting the heads off of these things. <laughs> yeah. All right, so there's all my figs. And they're in freezer bags. And I'm gonna put them in the freezer and I may preserve some of the ones I'm gonna harvest, but yeah. It's hot. Mm -hmm. We'll see. 